Mr. Afori. My name is Fatih, and can you please tell us about yourself and your pathway to success? Yes, so my name is Victor Ofori Boadu. I'm originally from Ghana, West Africa, and um, I've been in the United States for a long time. <laughs> yes, um, I am a data scientist. I work for Cone Health. I have always been very, you know, interested in STEM. So I've always been in science. I was a science student initially. I thought I'd be a medical doctor, but later on I changed my mind. I am an economist, data scientist, working at Kuhn. And when it comes to success in life, we're still moving on and working hard. But the main thing that we, you have to focus on, and for me, is to work hard, to be very diligent in everything that you commit yourselves to do, especially with education, you know. Um, it doesn't come easy. You have to be intentional, and you have to make the effort to put in the extra hours and extra time and that is the only way you can come up with success. So success means working hard beyond the normal. So uh, what is it like being a board president of a school system that has an impact on thousands of families and students? Good question. Very good question. It's awesome. And like you said, it's having an impact and it's been positive impact on thousands of families and in our community. Um, TMSA has a very good curriculum that we are providing for the community um, and specific to this location, um, Triad, we are seeing good progress, getting very positive and excellent growth, which is through the hard work all of you guys are doing and keep doing it, yes. keep studying hard, keep working hard and you make us proud. So me as a board president, seeing all the successes and all the growth I am so excited about it, and I feel privileged to be part of this. So we are in it together, and let's keep doing it. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. We understand that is a voluntary service, and you are a voluntary public servant. Can you please tell us what keeps you going? All right. Thank you. Um, yes, um, my service here is voluntary, um, and that is great because I feel like education is very, very important for our future, for our kids. All of you growing up, education is very, very important. And I feel like everybody needs to get that opportunity to get good education. And that is what TMSA is providing. So I feel privileged to be part of this, um, to help us provide the kind of education that the next generation needs because the next generation is what is going to make the world better. So it's voluntary, I love it, because I'm looking into the future, and I know that the sacrifices that I'm making now will help get us a better future. What are your suggestions for TMSA students for success in personal and professional life? For students, like I had mentioned earlier on, we need to work hard. We need to be intentional in working hard doing what we have to do. You know, we sometimes, no procrastination, don't put things aside. When teachers give you work, keep to it, work at it. If you can get extra information, go and do some extra research. We, we all have a level that we feel comfortable with. But if we stay at that level, we don't get success. We have the potential to go above our comfort zone. And that is what we need to strive for. So I would say work hard, go above the comfort zone, be obedient to teachers, to parents, to friends. Look for positive things, good things that will help you grow. You know, um, I mean, we all know, we all know the things that will help us to be successful. So let's stay focused on that and let's not be distracted by other things that will not promote our success. Thank, thank you. All right, thank you. It's such a pleasure to see you attend several events here at TMSA. Can you please share your observations about our events and activities here at Triad Main Campus? Wonderful. Yes, uh, it's always a pleasure to be here and to see all the good stuff that you guys are doing. Anytime I visit, I get so inspired and so feel so positive about what is going on here. Um, I see how you, students engage faculty. I see how students engage with one another. I see how people are determined to be successful. Um, all the programs that you are running. I know students are going to Spain. They are students in robotics. And all the programs that is that is going on, 
it makes me feel very proud of you guys. I when I get here, I'm I'm excited. I see positive things that. Okay. Thank you. Do you think local media outlets are recognizing Triad Math and Science Academy as much as they should? How can we further improve the situation as the broadcasting club? Thank you. Good question. Um, I don't think we are getting potential for us to get more visibility with our. Uh, with the local stations um, in the triad area. We are doing a whole lot. We are doing good stuff here. We are growing. We have a good program, curriculum. Students are achieving so much that Greensboro and surroundings need to know that, yes, I don't think we have that yet. And I'm glad that we have a TMSA broadcast club. What you guys are doing, I think you guys can, we can leverage on you guys to actually get TMSA out there in our community. So recordings and all the capabilities that you have. Um, these days, social media even is even better than TV. You know, we, we can we can use social media and with the skills that you guys have, can be able to get out there to the community to showcase what TMSA is doing and what TMSA is about. So maybe I'm giving the challenge to you guys now as a uh, broadcasting club. The challenge to you now is to send TMSA out into our community. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. What is the role of a charter school governing board and what are the challenges the board deals with? Right. Good question. Yeah, so the role of the charter school governing board is to, just like the word governing in there, is to help govern the school. By so doing, we, we provide um, more or less counseling and then help to make decisions, to put in place policies, things that will help to promote the mission and vision of the school. So our role is more of a guidance role than management. So we, we are there to guide the leaders of the charter school to be the ones that they can come to and seek for advice, you know, as to what they, are gonna do, they want to do. They come to us to see advice. And then we also act as over, provide oversight. So we look over the things that they are doing and then we say, hey, we could do it this way. We need to do it this way. This is what the policy says. This is what the state wants from us. So we guide so that we follow and be in compliance with everything that the state requires of us. Yeah, so that is, that is our role. And um, yes, it's challenging sometimes because we have a big community and people have different views and different expectations, you know. So trying to meet the expectations of everybody um, sometimes is, is, is challenging. But then when you put in place good policies and good roadmap and guidelines, that's a mission and vision statement, then you are, your focus is to follow your mission and your vision, you know, and then that gets you to where you have to be, right? So Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Mr. Ofari. Can you please tell us how you balance your work life, voluntary service life, and your family life? Thank you. Thank you for that question. Yes, that's that's a very, very important, and I take that seriously and try to balance it all up because none of them needs to be to suffer. You know, my family life, my work life, and the volunteer service that I have committed to do. It's something I've committed to do, so I have to do it and do it well. So what I do is to prioritize on the things, how to spend my, my time. So it's more of time management. I have to ensure that I place my priorities right and work on them. I don't waste time doing unnecessary things. Everything is focused. I plan my day. I know I have to do my job. And my job is such that it's not just eight to five or eight hours, no. My job, depending on what the challenges are, I can be working several hours a day for a week. So what I do, like I said, is to manage my time very well. Cut out things that are not necessary. But again, planning your time is what is key. So you wake up every day or even before the week, you just plan on what you need to do at work, how many hours to finish your work, your time with the family. And it means also communicating with the people that are involved, especially with my family. I need to communicate with them and know what times they are also available so that I can schedule my, my time and it will fit into the plan so that we can spend quality times. It's time management, cutting out unnecessary things and prioritizing. So so knowing the important things and then you prioritize and then you make sure that a discipline follow through your plan because if you plan everything out but you don't stay disciplined you will not be able to you know 
to achieve anything. So it's very it's very important. Um, discipline, time management, and cutting out unnecessary <laughs> well, unnecessary things. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Thank, thank you. you. Good evening, sir. My name is Lewis. I would like to ask, if you were to offer an after-school club activity once a month at TMSA, what would it be? Thank you, Lewis, right? Yes. Thank you for the good question. And you may not know this, but um, I do sing. I uh -huh. like music. Play the keyboard a little bit, and I sing. Maybe that's something that I can do. We can form a band here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be nice. Yes. I play guitar. You play guitar? <laughs> yes. Great. My two boys play one plays a keyboard and the other plays the drums. We do have some jamming sessions at home with them playing and then I sing. If anything, yeah, it will be a music a band. Okay. All right. Yeah, that'd be nice. Nice yeah. meeting you. Nice meeting you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Afford, for coming today. What is your final thought for being with us today? Absolutely. It's a pleasure being here with you with you guys and thank you for the invitation. Yes, yeah, very impressive and I'll say that TMSA as our mission is, vision is, is to provide education. That it's not only confined to the walls of TMSA, but to make leaders and send them out into the world to make an impact. And that has been the mission of TMSA. Thanks to our competent staff, faculty, we are moving forward we're making very good progress. Growth is very high. Performance is growing. And um, <clears throat> I like everyone to play their, their part. For you as students, continue working hard. Continue listening to your teachers. And like I said in, in our discussion, go the extra mile. Don't just stay at, on your comfort zone. Go the extra mile. Do more research. Work hard at, on your homeworks. Try to impress and go beyond what you are asked to do for students. And the same applies to all of us, whether you are staff, parents, all of us, you know. My thing is the comfort zone, if we are coasting, no, because we have potential to do more than that. So let us work harder, parents, give us the support that is needed, staff, I know you guys are working, keep working hard, and let's build TMSA, build a community that is solid, and ready to make a difference in our world. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.